and welcome back for another review. Today we're going to do a quick review of the new Africa Corps book for Flames of War version 4. As you can see here, uh, it's a hardback book. Retails for about $20 US, um, but apparently inside you're going to find background on the German African Corps and its part in the fall of Tobruk. How exciting! Uh, it's pretty thin. It's got a nice looking spine, full color on the outside. So let's crack this sucker open. You greet it immediately with a nice map of Europe in 42. Table contents. It, it, the one thing I gotta give these guys at Battlefront is their the amount of color um, and detail that they put into the books with the history. Uh, they give a nice brief overview to what's going on, the conflicts, the and the forces. Now in comparison to some other books in the past, it may not be as detailed as you might like, but at least they're informative with the Know Your Panzer section. And here you get a breakdown of the different force organizational charts that you can take, or formations, um, as they're called here in Flames of War. Everything's still full color, and you get the basic outline of what everything does. Now there's my boys, the Tigers. But again, everything's full color, um, nice, vivid, bright colors. You also have a little short tutorial there, a guide on how to paint your forces, how to do weathered paint. It's pretty useful. Even how to do infantry, um, the different schemes, and then a little advert for the other unit uh, units that you can buy, and then the map of Europe again. All in all, not too bad for the $18 US that I paid for it. But let's compare it to Nuts, which is the other Flames of War book that I own, because my other army is uh, Easy Company there. About the same thickness, but somehow I feel like Nuts has a lot more content to it than Africa Corps does. And it's no contest against Grey Wolf. Grey Wolf is a massive book. But the nice thing is they haven't changed the size of the two books from the previous version to the current version. So they'll feel right at home and get on the bookshelf with each other. Pair it against the early war, late war supplement that Battlefront released in conjunction with version 4. Right off the bat you can see it's a little bit smaller than your Africa Core book. All in all, if you're starting mid-war and you're playing Africa Core, you're going to need the book. Just wish there was a little bit more content to it. 